We have taken our final break, and we are now back in the Continental Classic in the Blue League. It will either be Eddie Kingston or Andrade Alito that will go on to the Blue League Finals Wednesday against Brian Danielson. Tony Khan has told us we will stay with this match under the 20-minute time limit as long as it takes, which means we would go past the top of the hour if necessary. So stay with us right now. Eddie Kingston has made this a methodical pace. Oh. But that time, oh. Andrade Alilo kicked the knees out from underneath Eddie. Not good for Eddie Kingston in a normal match, but against Andrade Alilo, who's beaten a number of people with the figure four, and dare I say, figure eight leg lock. Kingston now is hurt, and he's really in a dangerous place. And Andrade can take his time. Oh. Because if it goes to time, Andrade's in. He's in with a draw. After kicking the knees twice, a couple of dragon screw leg whips, sends Eddie down. Eddie got back up to be sent down again by a flying And you know this, Nigel, there's some nights where you struggle, and you, a little spark is all you need, and Andrade's found it. Andrade with the jaw set, you see the face, he means business. Eddie, those knees, I'm not so sure how much he can take. If Andrade continues to work on the knees, that time he goes to the midsection. Again, who will it be? Kingston or Andrade. For Kingston, a win would be a miraculous comeback from where this tournament started for him. And of course, would keep alive. Oh, oh my God. Would keep alive. Smoked him. Here's a cover first. One, two. Oh, 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 that was close. That was close. Vicious running knees in the corner like a train. And it was a hook of a leg, but not that deep. There wasn't a lot of body weight across the shoulders of Kingston that enabled him to get his shoulders up. Fans, this holiday season, AEW and Jazzwear has partnered up to donate $1 million in toys for Toys for Tots. Last weekend, members of the AEW roster joined Toys for Tots for a special event distributing toys to hundreds of children in the Dallas Metroplex. Happy holidays from Jazzwares and from AEW. This, of course, our tournament for Tots as part of the Blue League, as part of the Continental Classic. The winner eventually will win the Continental Crown. And here comes the three amigos. All fans of Eddie Guerrero, remember that. And there it is, a cover. One, two, no, and he escapes again. Oh, man. Andrade, I don't know, he's a little wry smile on his face. I don't know if that is frustration or what. Because Eddie almost lost it twice in a row. No, Andrade feeling pretty good about himself right now. Yeah, I think Andrade feels like he's got this match in the bag, perhaps. His idol, Eddie Guerrero, looking down from above. Andrade with wins over Daniel Garcia and Brian Danielson in this tournament. That's right. And Eddie Kingston coming up short against Brian earlier in the tournament. Ooh. One up in time oh. and hurt himself. Oh, my God. He got, I think, the right foot yes. up. And then that put all the pressure on his left knee. And Eddie, now Stephon Smith's going to see if he can continue. He braced on the left leg, Nigel. Yeah, we can see from that angle, he pushed off the left yeah. leg. And when he tried to get back up again, it gave way. And he comes oh, in with wow. Ralph abandoned that time, and boy, he was met by oh, yes. My God, Eddie Kingston. That's a Kobashi chops. That's it. Oh, oh. says, bring it. Absolutely love the one-on-one. -on -one. No interference on the outside. These matches have been an exploder that time. Eddie Kingston covers one, two. No. Did not get it. Eddie Kingston wanted to have this triple crown created because of his love of the All Japan uh, Triple Crown Championship, which was born in the late 80s. Like you said, Nigel. This uh, great wrestling that he saw as a tape trader, as a youth, got him out of some dark places. And he wants to be the first Triple Crown holder. Might get him into some dark places if he can't win this matchup, though. If he loses the titles, he worked his entire career to get. And he looks like he's trying to half and half here. And uh, Andrade with a back elbow knocks him loose, Oof. at least momentarily. And he snap bears him right to the ropes, down to the floor. Andrade with the kicks. 
Andrade's going to chase Eddie outside. No, he's going to wait, look, see if he can measure him for a moonsault. And he connected with Eddie. Now they can roll him in the ring. Andrade, when he was 20 years old, was a high-flying junior heavyweight luchador named La Sombra. And now the heavyweight, Andrade Alino, is looking to punch his ticket to the Blue League Finals of the Continental Classic. A can of Idolo goes out on Andrade Alino. Shadow underneath the shoulder of Kingston. Just looked great adaption mid flight. He saw that Kingston was moving, adjusted, and hit the standing moonsault instead. Eddie Kingston won the ROH title back on the 20th of September at Grand Slam in New York City. He won the New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Openweight title back in July of this year at Corican Hall in Tokyo. Can he go on to become the continental winner? Winning the Continental Crown. And I have it on good authority that the new president of New Japan Pro Wrestling, Hiroshi Tanahashi, is watching on and wants to see who will hold this Triple Crown. After all, New Japan Pro Wrestling has a stake in the game. Well, wait a second. Kingston fighting off the back yeah. trip. Absolutely got that hammerlock applied, though, does Andrade. Eddie just trying to bull his way out of this, and he does. He breaks it loose. Eddie. Belly to back. Oh, Cover. come on, Nick. Yeah. One, two. two. No. Whoa. Whoa. I thought Andrade was done. He was holding his head that time, Nigel. Yeah, a very awkward landing for El Idolo. He saw that backdrop driver pay dividends for Daniel Garcia. With a much bigger weight differential in that matchup, but again, an homage to his Japanese wrestling roots. Eddie Kingston stuck it, but slow to follow up. He just limps over towards his adversary now. As Andrade tries to push himself up, Eddie's going to help him out. Oh, hold on. I, Ed, I don't Kingston know said to the official, yep. make sure that he can continue. Yes. Right. He got a yes. Grabs him by his tights. Andrade's earned a few seconds there of respite. Have Nelson put on there and... Andrade just backs him up to the corner. Stayed low, did Andrade. The winner goes on to Wednesday in Orlando, live on Dynamite on TBS to face Brian Danielson. And I'll tell you what, over in the Gold League, you've got to love Switchblade Jay White. He's got a ton of momentum heading in. Oh! oh that's, that's it! That's it! That's it. That's it. He's out! That was on the money. It really was. What a match. Is and that doubt? Yes. Is that doubt it, in the eyes of Andrade? The first time, Nigel, we've seen that doubt. What a tournament. Here we go. After working on the knees, early on, he goes for the figure four. Oh, Kingston trying to block. The completion. That's Andrade Alino. He realizes if they complete this, he's going to have to. Oh, he got it. The ropes are there. The ropes are there. And he's up for the figure eight, but Eddie is on the ropes. He had bridged up, had Andrade Alino, but Eddie had grabbed the ropes in the nick of time. 15 minutes have gone by, five remain. And there we go. As you can see, five minutes remain, and we're two minutes before the top of the hour. We will stay with this until the completion. Eddie. Oh, God. The American. He stunned Andrade. Andrade is dangling. Eddie with a second one. Andrade is dangling again. Eddie's going to pick it. Oh! Chance to become the Continental Classic Champion. From the the brink of elimination. My God, starts 0 and 2, and here we are. Freddy Kingston needed a miracle here tonight, and lucky for him, it's the time for miracles. Chance to avenge that Eddie is a bum side. Brian Danielson trying to humiliate Eddie Kingston. 
And now, Kingston has the opportunity to pay back. Awesome tournament for Andrade Alidolo as well. Oh, wait a second. And you oh, see what son of a... What we'll have on Wednesday, Samoa Joe, MJF against the Devil's Mask Men. And of course, both the winners tonight, Kingston and Danielson, will battle for the Blue Inn. Keep it out and spin! Good Christmas from San Antonio!